out to San Diego right now for more with Jack and Meredith as they get set to leave town. And Meredith, I'm just assuming that while you have not been on the air, you've been packing very tidily in your suitcase, getting ready to leave. Am I assuming correctly or no? You couldn't be more incorrect, Bob. You know me. I'm last minute. I'll pack five minutes before my flight is going to leave, and I will still make it. You watch. You wait and see. Things have quieted down significantly here in San Diego, but that certainly wasn't the case the last couple of days. Jack, there was a buzz in the lobby. Deals were getting made, and one thing became abundantly clear. Baseball appears to be in a pretty healthy place because a lot of money was spent. Commissioner Rob Manfred has called baseball an $11 billion industry. Well, Meredith, in the offseason so far, $2 billion has been spent and more will be spent. And I think one trend that deserves to be mentioned is a lot of times in Major League Baseball, when you get to the age of 30, teams are ready to start looking for younger players. But what we've seen in this offseason, if you are a star and you've been productive, they're not really going to look at your birth certificate. Bogerts will play at the age of 30 next year. Turner will play at the age of 30 next year. Judge will play at the age of 31. Meredith, they all sign deals that are going to take them to about their 40th birthday. We know those long-term deals traditionally and typically don't work out on the back end, but the money was there to be spent. Those players are elite level superstar type players. They got paid. A lot of that money went to Aaron Judge, nine years, $360 million, well-deserved after the season he had and the Yankee career he has had thus far. And, Jack, what kind of type of message do you think it sends to Yankees, fan, the fact, Yankees fans, the fact that Hal went out and got that done? I think it's a resounding message that they understand how powerful and important judge is to what they're trying to accomplish. They understand that they haven't accomplished what they need to accomplish. Yankees haven't won a World Series title since 09. I think you have to throw a little asterisk next to 2017 because of what happened with the Astros, but I had a conversation with Brian Cashman in the offseason when his status was still uncertain about whether or not he was going to come back, and he said, I want to come back. I feel that we have unfinished business, and I think that attitude permeates the organization. It's why I mentioned earlier there's still a gap between the Yankees and the Astros, and it's why Hal Steinbrenner, Brian Cashman, and several others will say to you, there's still more business to be done to get this team ready for next season. As we've already mentioned, they are certainly interested in Rodon. Time will tell whether or not they're able to get that deal done, starting pitching a priority for Brian Cashman as he continues to look to upgrade. They did already get Tommy Canely. He'll have his physical on Monday. As long as that goes well, that deal will be officially announced. And really a nice piece for that bullpen. A terrific piece for that bullpen. He is someone that Aaron Boone described as beloved earlier, and it's the changeup that separates Canely. There aren't a lot of pitchers in Major League Baseball who are willing to throw four straight changeups to a batter. Canely believes in his changeup so much that that is something that he will do. And again, Meredith, we mentioned this with Judge earlier. Canely's pitched in New York. He knows what it's like. He knows what the pressure is like. And I think he's just one more piece for Aaron Boone to have in that bullpen. I had a quick text exchange with him, and he is incredibly excited to get back and be back with this organization. It'll be his third stint with the organization, and he is just looking forward, like many Yankees, now that Aaron Judge is, is signed, to getting to spring training. But when you think about spring training, still a lot of work on the roster to be done, but I'm really looking forward to the battle that's going to go on to see who the middle infielders are going to be on opening day for this team. I think you bring up a theme and a trend that we're going to follow all spring training because everyone knows the names. It's Peraza, it's Volpe. I think that Cabrera already has a lock on a roster position. I would move him around. I, I wouldn't lock him into one position. I think his strength and his value is in the fact that he can play multiple positions. But I think you're right, Meredith, and you know this better than anyone. You go to spring training and there's a laundry list of things that you want to cover and you want to make sure you see Aaron Judge's batting practice. You want to watch Garrett Cole's bullpen sessions, but Everyone is going to be watching those young players. And I'm very much looking forward to it. That's going to do it from San Diego. Bob, I have to go pack. Back to you. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be a few hours away. Anyway, Meredith, thank you, Jack, as well. Great work and safe travels. We'll see you next week.